I really would rather not. Yeah, I'd really rather not. I don't want to shortchange my mental health journey just so that I can hurry up and get back to my physical health journey. Hey guys, so my name is Mindy and I have lost over 120 pounds on Wegovy Munjaro. I'm a glutide compound and I'm now back on Wegovy again. A couple weeks ago, I kind of let y'all know that I wasn't doing the greatest mentally. If you missed that video, definitely check it out here. But I let y'all know I wasn't doing that great and I was planning to seek out some therapy. Pretty much I have struggled with food addiction and a possible binge eating disorder for my entire life, but I've never really sought treatment for it. I'm on a medication for weight loss, which is Wegovy, and that helps to kind of control my appetite and reduce some of the food noise somewhat. It really doesn't work as well as it used to. And I've talked about this before, but I really don't want to have to depend on these meds for the rest of my life, partly because insurance probably won't allow that. And also just because I don't want to be on prescription medication for the rest of my life if I can avoid it. <laughs> A big part of why I embarked on this journey was to avoid getting full-blown diabetes where I would have to be on medication for the rest of my life. I've already lost 120 pounds with the help of diet and exercise, but a large majority of that time, I was kind of white knuckling it to get through the desire to binge. And I really want to learn some better coping mechanisms so that I can overcome the food addiction that really got me to 365 pounds in the first place. I know that, and I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but I know that therapy would be a good place to hopefully learn some of those coping mechanisms, but finding a therapist isn't easy. Like This isn't the first time that I have tried therapy. I've never done it for food addiction and things like that, but I've use therapy for other things. And just going to therapy isn't like, finding the right therapist is not an easy thing to do. And it's definitely held me back from seeking therapy before because I just know how hard that can be. But that being said, it's one of the things that I love the most about today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. I was so excited when BetterHelp reached out to me to sponsor this video because I had heard such great things about how easy they make it to find a therapist. When I signed up for the program, it really, really was easy. Like basically I just had to answer some questions. I filled out a questionnaire, which was pretty detailed, which is a good thing. I mean, therapy is not single faceted. Once I went through that questionnaire, BetterHelp matched me with who they thought would be the best fit for me. I had two sessions with her and while she was a very nice person and I liked her a lot, she really wasn't the best fit. And if you're a people pleaser, <laughs> you know how hard it is to tell somebody that, that that they're not the best fit, that you want to move on to find somebody else. And I think the thing that made BetterHelp so awesome is that I didn't really have to have that conversation. I, I'm, I, I'm not a confrontational person in general. Like I, I it's not that I'm, I'm not capable of having difficult conversations. It's just, if it had been left up to me, I probably would have just stayed with her longer to try and make it work, even though she probably wasn't the best fit for what I need right now. The awesome part was once I decided after that second session that I would probably need to speak with someone that specializes in eating disorders and addiction therapy, I didn't have to have that conversation. I was able to just choose the option to change my therapist and I was able to match up with someone who specialized in addiction and eating disorders. And I was even able to read some reviews where people who had eating disorders had you know met with that person and dealt with them directly I'm super excited because I have my first appointment with her tomorrow and I will definitely let you guys know how that goes I just want you guys to know that if you're struggling with things during your health journey your weight loss journey whatever journey it is that you're on just go to betterhelp.com slash Mindy P weight loss for a special discount off of your first month of therapy invest in your mental health it is such an important part of your health journey. I have neglected that part for far too long and I'm coming to grips with the fact that I deserve 
to experience whole health, not just physical health. I hope that if the thing that has been keeping you from not getting therapy is finding the right therapist, that maybe BetterHelp will help you, like it did me, find someone with a specialty that actually matches up to what it is that you're needing to address. I'm so excited for the opportunity to share this discount with you guys. And if you have ever thought about therapy, but were anxious about the process of finding someone, I highly recommend giving it a shot because it really made it way easier than what I've tried before. Anyway, I have to get going to work. I'm gonna check in with you guys after my appointment tomorrow to let you know how things went. Hey guys, so I wanted to check in with you and give you a little bit of an idea of what the last two weeks have looked like for me. I started actually seeing my first therapist two weeks ago. My first meeting with her, which, you know, first meetings are usually just like getting to know you and a little bit of history and stuff like that. and. It was good, but even in our first session, like she started talking about how like she likes to concentrate on art therapy and like this is just not really my thing. So I kind of let her know that and she was like, well, that's fine, we can use other things. But like the more we started talking about the eating disorder stuff, cause that's really what I wanted to focus on. Like she kept bringing it back to anxiety and I'm not a very anxious person. Like I don't, at least I don't think I am like I Nikki has some pretty severe anxiety and like I know what that looks like with her like what she struggles with and what I've seen with her in regards to anxiety and like I don't identify with that like I don't feel like that applies to me when I tried to explain to her what my thought processes were when I was having issues with wanting to binge and like wanting to just eat mindlessly and things like that like I just seemed like she wasn't connecting and the thing that ultimately made me decide that I needed to move on and find somebody else was when we were talking about, I was telling her that like what I really needed was to find some better coping mechanisms or a way to deal with my desire to binge or to work through that that was more effective and her suggestion was that maybe I should keep some hard candies to suck on that aren't very high calorie when I get those desires so that I'm like satisfying the desire to eat but not doing it in a way that's going to be very calorie heavy and I was just like you know it feels like trying to pacify an urge to binge with food probably isn't the best thing to do like I really would rather not yeah I'd really rather not and she was like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And, and that was just kind of the thing that ultimately made me decide that I needed to seek out somebody that specialized in addiction, like food addiction and eating disorder therapy. I don't want to sound cheesy, but I, I am glad that I'm doing this through BetterHelp because without the assistance of the app, like I, I may have given up because I am a path of least resistance girl. Like I don't want to have to have a conversation where I'm telling somebody that they're not the best fit for me. I don't want to have to reject someone, even though like, it's not personal. Like she was a very nice lady. It just wasn't a good fit. Like, I think if it hadn't been so easy to find someone else, I either would have kept going to her, even though she wasn't the best fit, or I would have just stopped going to therapy altogether and I, I wouldn't have gotten the help that I needed. I mean, it, it literally was as easy as clicking a button and then answering a few more questions to kind of narrow the search down a little bit better. That was how I found my therapist. I had my first appointment with her last night. She was actually kind of late, <laughs> which I was a little irritated about, but once I started talking to her, like I absolutely loved her. She has been concentrating on and working on eating disorder therapy for over 12 years. So as soon as she told me that, I already felt a little bit more at ease. And, you know, like all first sessions, the majority of it was spent, you know, taking a history and talking about my life and kind of getting to know me, which I mean, as expected, she made sure before we ran out of time to make sure I understand what kind of methods she uses for therapy. And she uses cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT and DBT, which is dialectical behavioral therapy. I'm still kind of learning a little bit more about what those are, but it's mostly like mindfulness, learning how to capture your thoughts and 
work through them and learning how to be in the moment instead of reactionary. She spent some time talking to me about the the frontal lobe and the amygdala. The frontal lobe, like our pets and stuff don't have that. That's our, our logical brain. Like this is the part of our brain that thinks things through and reasons things out. And then we have our amygdala, which is responsible for our fight, flight, or freeze. And I wasn't aware that when our amygdala is activated, our frontal lobe is completely shut off. Like we are not capable of rational thought when our amygdala is activated. So oftentimes when you're in the midst of a binge or when you're having that sort of reaction, like you're in that fight, flight, or freeze and your frontal lobe is deactivated. Like you're not thinking anymore at that point. You're not thinking I'm making bad choices for myself. I'm, you know, doing things that are contrary to what my goals are. Like you're not thinking about any of that. You're just doing. For some people that may feel defeating, but like for me, that actually was good information to have. Like I was glad to know that that's kind of how our brains function. Like it was helpful to me to learn that. I think a lot of the times I fall into that, get over it, like what's wrong with you? Why can't you just say no? Why can't you just, like I get into that guilt and shame spiral. But understanding that like literally the part of my brain that's capable of telling me to make good decisions is off in that moment unless I'm able to recognize it and turn it back on like on purpose. It makes me feel a little bit less guilty and a little bit less shameful about those times when I've fallen into those habits again. The one thing that she did leave me with was that she wants to equip me with tools that I can use to get through those desires to binge, those food thoughts, like to to be able to cope better, which is what I exactly what I wanted. I'm very excited and hopeful about what that's gonna look like. I know it's gonna be a lot of work. She's gonna offer me worksheets and homework and stuff like that, and she's already sent me some, but she's like, look, this is, this is for you. So I'm not gonna shame you if you don't do your homework. Like, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm not gonna finish your session. If you wanna do it, do it. If you don't wanna do it, don't. But like, I know from experience that like, you're only gonna get out of therapy what you put in. So I'm gonna do my best to work through as much of that stuff as I can. And I know that even though I like her and everything that she said has sounded good, like there's still gonna be a process of learning how our styles are gonna intermesh with one another because the little bit of research that I've already done about dialectical behavioral therapy, which is kind of her preferred method, it sounds a little spiritually and hokey, like it started in Buddhism and things like like that which I'm not opposed to meditation and things like that so I'm just gonna have to be careful with making sure I communicate with her she's already told me like I am not gonna take it personally if you give me feedback and you tell me that something's not working for you or that we need to try something else or that you're not comfortable with something like it's not gonna hurt my feelings this therapy is for you and if it's not something you're comfortable with then it's not gonna work I feel like giving me that permission has kind of given me the freedom to speak up I'm hopeful that this is going to be a successful partnership. This is not going to be an overnight thing. Like I know that I have a lot of work to do, but I feel good about the fact that I'm on the right path. I'm supposed to be going back to a weight loss phase next week. I still need to do my meal planning for next week and things like that. And I, I'm, I'm still f planning on going back to a calorie deficit next week, starting my cut, my six week cut again. But I'm going to think about it a little bit more this week and make a decision one way or the other about whether I'm gonna elongate for another week on maintenance or if I'm gonna just start going back to my cut. My biggest thing is is that I, I don't wanna shortchange my mental health journey just so that I can hurry up and get back to my physical health journey. I've gotten some comments from people that you know have told me that I, I shouldn't quit the cut. I should just keep going and keep trudging through and I feel like that's just what I've been doing for the last two years. Like I've just been 
sucking it up and, and going forward without all of the tools that I need to do it properly. Kind of like I said a couple weeks ago, like I, I have the rest of my life to figure this out and I don't want to fall into that trap of I need to see the results now. I, I want to do it the right way and I want to learn the healthy way to get through this instead of just white knuckling it so that I can do it as quickly as possible. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I have rambled a lot this video. I hope that if you are somebody that's on a health journey and you have considered doing therapy, but it's been daunting and overwhelming for you to think about how you're gonna find a therapist or how expensive it's gonna be, I really hope that you consider giving BetterHelp a try. Feel free to use my link down in the description to get a discount off your first month of BetterHelp. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. We're on a journey. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted. But feels like we're learning to be better.